tonight. We got a packed house. Uh, not to sound cliche, but we probably set an attendance record tonight. They're all the way to the door. Yeah. So nobody call a fire marshal is what I'm saying. You know, so. They only well, do that when there's a hearse here. That's right. When there's a hearse here, we call a fire marshal then. All right, but so we definitely appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Big night tonight. We got several huge announcements uh, tonight. None of least is going to be our new GM tonight. Uh, so uh, those of you that have been paying attention, there's been some crazy things going on around here, both with Jeff Paul. You got him running around acting all crazy. He don't listen to anything, as you guys know. We got the, the new syndicate that we're dealing with now. They're running around acting all crazy. So, you know, a great leader knows when he's at his wit's end. And I'm at my wit's end, and... Jason Schaefer's heart can't take it, so he's at his wit's end. So I went out, and I found us a new GM. We had probably over 40 people, uh, I guess you could say, apply for the position. We put the information into the computer to see who would uh, be the best GM. And there was one name that come up, and when I seen this name, I was a little surprised. No, I don't think it was. But I think this person will be uh, the iron fist that we need. I think this person will be, this person will lay the law down. So without further ado, tonight I would like to introduce to you our new GM of Retro Reset Wrestling. Taking it back, it has been a long time since we've seen this guy on the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, the new GM of Retro Reset Wrestling. Thank you guys very much for that warm welcome. I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you. You know, I haven't been here the last few months, but I have been watching. And if there's one person that can wrangle these wrestlers, it is the double digit danger himself, myself, Benny Conley. But I don't want this to be about me. We have a great event in store for you tonight. I just want to make one quick announcement, and that is August 3rd at Linda K. Epling Stadium, we are announcing our biggest event, Retro Mania. What's in store for Retro Mania? At the time, it's a little up in the air. But stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, and I guarantee it'll be one of the biggest things to happen in pro wrestling in this area. Well, fans, that is a huge announcement. And I just now was told that WWE Hall of Famer, The Godfather, will also be there in attendance that night. 
It promises to be the biggest event the area has ever seen. Ever. We're talking about an all-day pop culture convention and one of the biggest, best wrestling events to ever come. To Beckley, West Virginia! Ladies and gentlemen, your general manager, Benny Conley. Two huge announcements, the new GM, Benny Conley, and Retromania are coming to Linda K. Hefflin Stadium. But to meet Benny Conley on his first night as GM, the JPWO, Jeff Paul, World Order, Jeff Paul, Mason Paul, Laura Paul. sure what they're doing out here, but they come and go as they will please, whether the fans like it or not, based on their reaction, I'm sure you know which, but whatever your feelings are, that is the heavyweight champion of PWL, Jeff Paul, undefeated since our television deal began. So wait, I came out here to get one thing straight real quick. Shut your mouth! All these people come to see the greatest champion of all time. Thank you! I hate every single one of you, and you continue to give me money. Thank you! Besides the point, so let's get one thing clear. You're no longer the general manager, correct? Correct. Correct. Whoa, wait a minute, Jeff. Oh. No, Jeff! Well, Somebody Buddy Mark giving away a lot of leverage here. And you Let's get some security out here. A guy Let's get some security out here. Who has Come been on, the top Jeff. of this thing for so long. Jeff. You'd think they Jeff. still has his finger in a couple of pies here, but evidently, no leverage to speak of. And we are bringing referees out here to stop this thing. They're very brave, or Jeff Paul is very forgiving at the moment, one of the two, because he can take them apart just as easily as he took apart Money Mark. And Jeff Paul, he didn't do a lot, but everything he did, Jeff Paul just did. I hope you're proud of yourself, Jeff. And the other one, what he did to his neck, <laughs> just yanked it away on it. That can be a severe injury long term. And he's motionless in the ring right now. It's a concerning situation. Fans, stay with us. At Cucumber & Company, we understand the importance of standing out in a crowd. We can help you create quality web and social media content that will rise above the rest. Our multimedia experts will help you with video explainers, commercial production, email blasts, newsletters, podcasting, and more. We'll collaborate with you to craft engaging content from concept to broadcast. Elevate your brand with Cucumber & Company today. Marketing made easy. Contact us at cucumberandcompany.com. Hey, good looking. You did so good tonight. You had a pretty good match too. Thank you. I'm glad you were watching. I did it for you. Next up, y'all got some. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is, but this is business and this is professional. But we're in the back. No one has to know. You did so good. I'm a big fan. I don't think we should be doing this. We're not doing anything, just talking. Getting back to the action at hand today here on the New River Network on Retro Reset Wrestling. We got a big debut contest coming up here for you fans.
you've been watching our program since the beginning, you're certainly familiar with Miss Jade, Brittany, making her return here today. Successful in her last outing, it remains to be seen if she can do so against her opponent today, whom we know very little about. Brittany all smiles right now, the opposite of her opponent, who appears, for better or worse, to be a counterpart of sorts. Very stoic in nature, hasn't really moved much, hasn't really emoted much since he made her way out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it has a 25 minute time limit. Making her debut in Retro Reset Wrestling. She is the Wicked Witch of the Ring, Jay Alondra. And making her return to Retro Reset waiting to get this one underway. If you haven't done so, be sure that you subscribe to either the New River Network's YouTube channel or the YouTube channel for Indie World Wrestling to stay up to date on our show anytime you may miss it live or if you're looking for exclusive content or unedited versions of matches that may be interrupted for commercial. Jason Schaefer, welcome back to the booth, buddy. Man, tonight has been uh, action-packed and full of surprises so far, Stephen Hemsley. Uh, I can barely contain myself. <laughs> eventful, eventful evening. Big announcement with the GM, but how's, how's Mark? How's Money Mark? Uh, I guess we'll, we'll uh, make uh, updates available as they become available to us. Uh, speaking of updates, I did want to update everybody. Let them know that uh, if they're in, in uh, the Beckley area, they're looking for a body piercing or a tattoo, they can come see the fine folks at Hats and More, a Wolfman Tattoo, located right here in the Crossroads Mall. It's your one-stop shop for body piercings. Get tattooed by the best. Get tattooed at Wolfman Tattoo. Nice sidelock, side headlock being used to great effect against Brittany J. <laughs> you know, the last time we saw Brittany Jade, she was uh, she was involved in women's tag action. So it's uh, it's nice to see what she brings to the table uh, as a singles competitor here tonight, Stephen Hensley. Push off the ropes. Advantage with the running shoulder block there. Didn't expect that. Underestimated power by Jade. Coming off the ropes one more time. Gets caught with a hip toss. Big hip toss, she goes for the cover and it hooks the leg, but only comes away with a two count. Got one question for you, Steven. Sure. Is she a good witch or is she a bad witch? Well, I, I have to assume it's uh, it's certainly dependent upon who you are at the moment. I'm sure Brittany would say bad. Big kick to the back of the leg, and Brittany J goes to work with her hammer away with those big shots. Look at that, Stephen Hensley. Applying the the base of her foot right to the throat there. Mm, nice kick delivered right to the back. One J Alejandra. She puts her down, hooks the leg, makes the cover. Only comes away with one count. I don't think she's going to win the match like that, Stephen Hensley. Nice rear headlock. That's a good strategy right now if you already have the larger <coughs> opponent down. Go ahead, wait, go ahead and take away the air. Keep her grounded. No advantage letting her get back up to her feet. Great action tonight in front of this huge crowd. As Money Mark said, I think we're set, we've set an attendance record here tonight at the Crossroads Mall. Forearm blow to the back. 
not doing any favors for the witch. Takes her over to the ring and she's gonna throw, drape that leg over top, giving her the extra edge there as she's choking around. A referee, Talee Starseeker, making the count. You know, Jason Schaefer, I gotta be honest here. My note sheet is a little sparse for the opponent of Brittany J today. How, what do you know about her? Very little to be known for me. We watched her compete uh, a couple weeks ago here on, on this very program. Uh, she was in a tag match. Not real sure where she comes from. Uh, I do know this, that, that I'm really excited to see her compete tonight. <coughs> Shoots her into the corner, measures her out, rolls in and runs right into that big boot there, Steven. And giving her some uh, elbow shots in the corner. Nice Euro uppercut. Right. Setting her up here. Oh, look at that, Steven. Decent swing and neck breaker and she's got her in the middle. That's where you want her. Fans coming alive here at Beckley tonight. The fine folks look like they're behind uh, one Brittany uh, Jade. Don't care much for the uh, for the Wicked Witch of the Ring, if you will, Steve. Well, the fans are want to love who they want to love. You know, I, I kind of like Brittany Jade myself. She's got style, she's got personality, she has panache. She's got the right attitude to be a winner. Short arms being used to great effect, too. Good control of the wrist. She's leading her around the ring. Takes her down there. Very unique manner going for the pinfall attempt. Using a lot of leverage. Doesn't really come together for her, though, in the end, unfortunately. It's really, really difficult to ground a competitor who's larger than you as the power advantage, which is simply put the case here. But Brittany Jane hasn't been deterred at all in this contest. She stayed on top of her, Jason. Yes, she has, Steve. The, no clear winner here at this point. It could still be anybody's match. Gets oh, look at that huge shot delivered there, Steve. And a swing and a miss. Ducks under. Coming off the right. Double clothesline. Both, Both ladies, ladies go down. The referee starting the 10 count here. We're up to three right now. Uh, I doubt it's going to go to the 10 right now, but they're definitely rocked right now. You can see the effect. Both women really put in a lot behind that clothesline attempt that went sideways for them. And the contest is going to continue. Jay needs a close line and a back elbow. Oh, the witch takes her down with a lot of force and power behind that shot there, Steven. Well, Brittany Jay finding herself in a trouble position. And she got Sanders there, big avalanche flash. Great bulldog, drug her out there, great control throughout as she hooks the leg. Two, nearly takes the three count. I thought we had a winner there, Steve. Oh, look at that. Nice rake to the eyes. Well, police checking on Jade. I don't know what's being said right now, but oh. positioning is everything. Whatever the plan was there, it came together. Referee has been wiped out now. You gotta make something happen, though. Yeah! Another nice shot of the fine folks at Beckley, West Virginia there for you, Stephen Hensley. Well, Double H making his way in there now. Yeah! And Miss Starseeker being checked on in the background. Brittany Jade unhappy with not getting the victory right now, but truly, 
whatever situation she feels she's in right now, she has herself to blame. Well, it looks like maybe Talise Starseeker gonna be unable to to uh, complete and fulfill her officiating duties here. It looks as if our senior referee, Hunter Hagee, Double H, is taking over for this match, Steve. Well, Hunter Hagee, good luck to him. These women, a lot to control here in PWL. That's, you're absolutely right. Brittany J delivering some huge right hand shots there. Look at this, Steven. Excellent knee strike. And you know, that hit near the, near the top of the cranium there, and that's one way to knock you out. Devastating. Good chop there, you can see that had some effect. The fans calling for one more time. It looks like we're gonna see some more chops here. Looks like Brittany Jade in control. Oh, I spoke too soon, Stephen Hensley. The tide has turned quickly. And Brittany Jade asking for another one. I don't know why you would, but she's gotten fired up right now. A couple of forearm shots to her opponent. Going for a trip up, gets her trip. And that took her down to the mat. She's got to have a follow-up, though. I can't imagine that stalling like that is going to work to great effect, but, but what do I know, Stephen Hensley? Big forearm shots there delivered by uh, the Wicked Witch of the Ring. Look at this roll-up, Stephen. A nice attempt to turn out for, though. Look at this. Look, Stephen. Look over there in the, in the the next to the ring post. Well, Brittany Jade getting the win with the knee strike, but Schaefer, you're right on the outside. That's it's the, our, it's that's, our ladies' champion. It, it's the great Sasaki. And she has a very, I suppose, vested interest in her tag team partner from a couple weeks ago. Absolutely. <laughs> That's the great Sasaki out celebrating with her tag team partner, Brittany Whitwell. Well, I thought they were going for a hug, but that did not look like a hug. Blowing a kiss at the referee. What's going on here, Steve? Well, the great Sasaki, one thing that I found to be true about her is she's not one to share the spotlight. You wouldn't think she's the type of gal to covet it. She doesn't come out here dolled up. She's not like the other girls, not like a Brittany J. Ushering. Beauty is certainly not her forte, but Ushering man. Ushering referee Hunter Hagee to the back. Brittany Jade, she has drawn the ire. Don't steal the spotlight away from our champion. I guess stay tuned for more developments here, Steve. If you want a real cool website, I'll tell you what to do. Call them cats at Cucumber and they'll build a site for you. Our people are so friendly and our updates are the fastest. All it's gonna cost 100 bucks plus taxes. These cats build, host, and update for just $100 a month. Oh yeah! Find out how, how, how at 304-250-0123 or at cucumberandcompany.com.
it's going to be the new syndicate, the team of Wayne Kelly and the amazing Matthew Scott or Tyler Jacks, whichever one they deem, taking on the combination of OPK. And they're being given a lot of time to compete against each other today. So we are expecting one hell of a contest. A lot of gold on display there. A lot of gold. official hot dog of the PWL and they're located right here in the Crossroads Mall. Feeding hungry shoppers seven days a week. They have an amazing selection of coffees and desserts. You can have breakfast all day at the Dog Tag Cafe. Okay, okay. Looks like the fans have come alive in support of the first time we'll ever see this tag team. The Gen Z and Ophi Kessler. Okay. Nice tandem offense. He looks the leg. Ophi tried to take this one home early. He wants that uh, tag team gold, don't you think, Steve? Look at that. Nice trip down, take down. Look at this, Stephen Hensley. I think we're going to see some wrestling out of OK. This job tied up in the ball right now. Slap to the behind, delivered by uh, the youngster Gen Z. The crowd just alive. They love these guys. These guys are the epitome of, uh, of a baby face tag team, Steve Hensley. Well, they've certainly got the support. Nice chop across the chest by Lane Cowley. That takes it if you can't do I will tell you this, I, I, I like I, I like what I see from Smoking Lane Cali. He, he's a guy that he's training all the time. He's watching film, and, and he does. He gets better as a competitor every time I see him. Look at that, Steve. Nice side breaker. Hook the leg way too close to the ropes, though. Effective. Perhaps not pretty, Steven, but effective. Smoking 
Duncan Kane, Lane Kelly tags in the executioner. Tyler Rossfield as he goes to work. Kelly subduing okay as the executioner goes to work. A nice headbutt to over there. Look at that beautiful DDT. Executed right in the squared circle. He hooks the leg. Only comes away with the two count, Steve. Nice rear headlock. Essentially an end to great effect. He's really got underneath there. I'd have to question if that's a chokehold if I were the referee. Yeah. They don't call him the executioner for nothing. Listen to those fans, Steve. It's definitely. Shoots him off into the corner. Comes in with a full head of steam. Look at that. Tags in the port in the smoking lane. Cali, the legal man now. Cali going to work on OK. Pulling him to center. Really wants to keep him on that side. He's done a great job, as has his teammate, of keeping him on their side of the ring. <laughs> Fans chant and pop the pig. I'm not real familiar with that. Well, uh, he's got the, uh, the pig there. Oh. Pop the pig, Steve. I believe it's a game, if I'm not mistaken. Possible. A game that Lane Kelly doesn't appear to be such a fan of at this current juncture. Well, the fans are really having a good time here. Well, and that's what it's all about, Stephen Densley, is having a good time. I tell you, half of what they're saying right now, I don't understand it. It's essentially gibberish to me as a wrestling commentator. But as long as they're paying for the ticket, they're paying for our payday. Hey, I'm here for it, Bubby. Here for it. Well, and I'm glad you're here for it, Steve. I love nothing better than to hang out with my house, Stephen Densley, on a Saturday night back in Virginia. Gen Z, nice duck on it. Good super kick. Surprisingly flexible, young man. You wouldn't think it to look at him. Scoops Cali up as OK goes upstairs. Look at this. Some nice double team action. But I like how these kids are functioning as a team. <laughs> Unique combination of offense. I really like that blockbuster out of the fireman's carry position. Haven't seen that before. Interesting. Jim Z going up top. Rossfield, though, there to crouch him on the ropes. The executioner just drags him down by the hair. But let's also not, I know that the, what's going on in the ring is, is of the utmost importance, but I can't help but keep one eye on the outside of the ring on the, the other member of the syndicate, the, the uh, amazing one, Matthew Scott. Matthew Scott, he stayed uninvolved so far. At the moment, appears to be happy to just be confident in his teammate's abilities. Pacing around on the outside. Look at this, Steve. They turned him inside out there. And Lane Kelly, he's used that to great effect in a number of contests. This could be all. I'm not done. Oh, yeah, that, that surprises me. Interesting tactic. Well, Ego coming into play here. I think he had it done, but he doesn't want it. He doesn't want it to be over. And Schaefer, that's that was absolutely brutal. Lethal. Steve that's the kind of thing that can keep you out of action for a long time. Those unprotected blows to the back of the head. I can't think of any reason why it's cite poor Ophi K for something like this. Ophi's oh never done him any ill, and this is this is a situation the referee's really okay. This is the kind of situation where you should call it. He can't protect himself. Look at that. And that's finally at long last. And the referee needs to step in here. That's his job to step between them at this point. This contest being called by a ref stoppage. Your winners, OK and Gen Z. Stephen Hensley, are, are this they, match is over with. Are they the winners? 
from, from my standpoint, Ovi can't continue. I, w I would assume the call would be TKO. The referee's decision is the referee's decision. I got to question that one, though. Although, at this point, I mean, it's semantics. <laughs> is this isn't about a win. I, I don't think there's a winner or a loser. I think the, the ref stopped the match. Schaefer, there are unfortunate situations, and then there, I mean, there's this. Kofi K, you know, I, I don't care for his glad-handed ways, but that guy, he's as nice as they get. The fans like him, you like him, Nashville likes him. Heck, I like him. Look at this. This is, yeah, Gen Z. Gen, this is unprecedented, Stephen Hensley. Gen Z's shuffering a stiff shot with that chair over there. But most of, most of the, the anger and the, the vitriol of the syndicate's really been focused on look this. Look, they're, they're trying to break his leg, Stephen. Smoking Lane Cali leaning over and, and saying it's a, it's a okay. This is what you get for putting your nose in our business. Look at this, Stephen. Steven. Jason, I'd say send someone out here, but that should have happened a long time ago. Oh my god. This is absolutely brutal. I mean, at this point, this has to stop. I mean, there has got to be a consequence, you think. You know, Ophi did nothing to bring this on for himself. One of the fans has, has come to the ringside. I believe that's that's the sister of Ophi Kessler. Well, I understand she's concerned, but she needs to stay away from this. As you see, she's falling to the ground there. She's in a problem situation right now. Ophi, he's, I mean, Jason, what can you say that we haven't already said? I don't know, Stephen, but, but unfortunately, I think we have to go to a commercial break. Vance, we still got time remaining. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we can, can restore some order. This is awful, Stephen. We've, we've got to go to a commercial. We've got to go to a commercial. Trip down to the ring, you might as well get the 
Matthew Scott walking away. Hey Matt, you think that's how your dad would do things? Lorraine West following in tow, going right after all three members of the new syndicate. Tyler, Lane, and Matthew all finding themselves in harm's way. And we use the word club and forearm blow a lot. But when it's coming like a guy from Aaron West, what else are you going to say about it? Just clubbing him down to the outside. But he turned his back on three men. And however bad you are, you cannot do that. And the new syndicate right on top of him. And these are three men who may have just put OTK on the shelf for a long time. And they sent Aaron West into the ring. And Matthew Scott now choosing to accept the challenge. And just like that, fans, we have a main event. 304 Championship Contest. Shane, we gotta tell you, everywhere you go, trouble seems to follow someone. Yeah, but I'm telling you, Steven, at least not tonight. It's not my fault tonight, Steve. Scott, send it into the corner. Nice leaping clothesline. Backing up, coming in. One more running clothesline. Backing it up one more time. Mention Stephen that promotional consideration was paid for tonight by ESPN Radio 102.3 FM. The ticket bringing you the latest on all things sports. Don't miss a second of the action. ESPN Radio 102.3 The ticket. Steve, I'm glad we've got a front row ringside ticket to this action right there. Look at that amazing spinning side slam delivered by your 304 champion, Aaron West. Yeah, we're in a VIP section, man. We got this whole side of the building to ourselves. We're the luckiest guys on the planet to my contract that way. That's usually the case, isn't it, Steve? Hey. Winners get what winners get. Aaron West, though, right now, you know, he's a champion, but is he going to be a winner at the end of this thing? Well, he's got the odds stacked against him. It's three against one odds. Betting style Vegas, baby. He's definitely got his work cut out for him tonight in a what I deem to be a three-on-one situation here against the new syndicate. Cali and Rossville, they're really liking what they're seeing from the outside. Gold just keeps coming their way. They like adding to that treasure bin, I suppose. They're like Uncle Scrooge at this point. They can just dive in through the belts. <laughs> I, I said it before and I'll say it again. I, I think that this new syndicate is perhaps a more vicious team than, than what we saw from the original syndicate, Steve. I mean, it's arguable. Slamming Aaron West to the mat, uh, had a hold of his beard. That's got to hurt any way you slice He's amazing, it, Schaefer. He's amazing. I mean, when Lane Kelly's right, Lane Kelly's right. He was right about the Kelly whack, and he's right. Matthew Scott is, is amazing. amazing. I'll give him that. And you know, adding on to your point a minute ago that they may be the more dangerous syndicate, really important thing to realize, they're getting together at the beginning of their careers. Yeah, the right. old syndicate, as yeah. good as they were, they came together after a time. You're, you're, yeah, you're and right. How hungry are you at the beginning? How many shortcuts are you willing to take at the start when you really, really believe that you should be there even though everyone's telling you to wait? Look at this, the amazing one, Matthew Scott mocking Aaron West. Look, he's setting him up for a big suplex. Snap, takes him down right in the center of the ring. Looks like he's going for a double, Stephen Hensley. Aaron West able to put the brakes on. No, perhaps not. He delivers the second, and he's going for a trifecta. Matthew Scott, this is really impressive. Aaron West, he's a big boy. Well, trifecta. We'll see if that gets him the pinfall. No hook and leg. That, I believe, was predictable as an outcome. Absolutely. You're not going to defeat 
the 304 champion, the longest reigning second time 304 champion, Mr. Aaron West. He's undeniable, Steve. Hammer away on the back. Matthew Scott doing everything he can to mitigate Aaron West's odds in this contest despite his reputation. And you know, longest reigning champion is an impressive feat, but eventually, however good you are, all good things come to an end. Matthew Scott going upstairs. Look at this. Nice tornado DDT. Nice. And that's pulling Aaron West to the canvas. He makes the cover. Does not get the job done, Stephen Hensley. The fans are alive here in Beckley, West Virginia tonight, chanting for the 304 champion, Aaron West. What did you just say? You suck! Well, the fans' adulation aside, Aaron West is in a very problematic situation. He's absorbed a good deal of punishment, and Look again, at this, Steve. Look at this. Still three on one odds. Even if he finds his way out of this, even if he claws towards the ropes, which I assume is the smart strategy, like who's right there next to those ropes? Smoking Link Alley. Not a friend. No. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right, Stephen Edsley. Air West holding on. I can't blame him for fighting for all he's worth. He's a champion right now. No champion ever wanted to go home not a champion. He's made his way back up to a vertical base almost, and he is elbowing his way back up and out of this thing, literally lifting Matthew Scott up with his strength. He's off the ropes, swing and a miss, Stephen Hensley. Look at this. Both men go down. Well, double clothesline. This is almost deja vu. I feel like we've seen this before. I, I feel like we've seen this a few times, Steve. Fans, they are certainly animated right now. They're feeling Aaron West chancing this thing right now, but again, trouble situation, and he's looking no better than Matthew Scott coming out of that. Well, the fans certainly coming alive during this contest, and, and who can blame them? I'm on the edge of the, my seat myself. Blow for blow. Matthew Scott literally falling over himself to get to Aaron West right now. Aaron West, really, really capable guy when it comes to absorbing that kind of punishment. Look at this, belly to back. Plants him in the middle of the ring there. Got him lifted up now. Firm display of Aaron West's power. Good fall away slam. That was great, Steve. Delivered with authority. Aaron West is calling that this one's over. I mean, it could be. But again, no matter how good his odds are looking, he's, he's still got a disadvantage on the outside. Death Valley driver, though, that can put it away. He hooks the leg. Scott's still in this thing. How is he able to do that, Steve? I don't know what to tell you, Jason. He's amazing. How often do you need to hear it? Well, Aaron West, he's dropping the strap. Up, oh, they're both coming down now. He's ready to fight. I think he was ready to fight the minute he ran out tonight. Look at that, Steve. Well, he fell prey to a jawbreaker. Matthew Scott, not one to miss an opportunity, sends him off the ropes. Bye, Buster. One, two, three. The entire syndicate was convinced they were taking home that 304 title. We but both Aaron were. West, we Aaron, were. Aaron West able to kick out. Oh man, there's just something about seeing a Scott do a spine buster that just makes me believe it's one and done. But that's the 304 champ for you. He's resilient. He's, as you have said, as you've reminded me throughout, undeniable. Absolutely. Aaron West back to his vertical base. Matthew Scott pushes him off. 
Grabs a hold, goes to shoot him off. It's a reversal. There again, back in that fireman's carry position. We see another Death Valley driver. Oh, and a low blow, Stephen Hensley. Well, the syndicate, no shortage of dirty antics today. Foul play is fair play to these men. Well, and can you blame them? I mean, it's worked out for them so far. Absolutely. But for how they, long? They don't believe the rules apply to them as they make their way to the back. You know, Jay, if I'm, if I'm Aaron West, they're not leaving quickly enough. With website solutions starting at only $100 a month, why would you build your own website? 
get a local professional web designer from Cucumber & Company. Schedule a meeting right now at cucumberandcompany.com. Damas y caberos, this is Ricardo Rodriguez and you are watching Retro Reset Wrestling brought to you by Cucumber & Company on the new River Network. But of course, you already knew that. <laughs> 